Hello, Leo. Welcome to your next 48 reading for October 5th to the 7th. Um, I was about to call you Aquarius. I was about to call you Libra. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Sag, or have those in your chart. Um, Aquarius, I'm going to be doing these readings a little bit different this time around. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to stick with this structure, but I'm just experimenting, but I'm going to be time stamping as I go along. Um, but Leo, some of you guys could be uh, dealing with an Aquarius. You guys may be having a power struggle with somebody in the next 48 hours. Um, I'm also getting, uh, you may encounter someone that's very snobby or snobbish, kind of rude. Okay, it's, it's giving like entitled energy. Okay, um, okay. But let's see what we got for you, Leo, regarding your money. Oh, some of y'all may discover someone's a liar. I literally just heard that. That doesn't have anything to do with money, but... You guys could be discovering somebody here could be a liar. It could be another Leo or a Virgo. I'm getting something about somebody lying about either their body or their body count, like how many people they've slept with or been with. There's some dishonesty about something. Okay. What do you got for Leo and their money? October 5th to the 7th. Um, we got the Six of Pentacles. Okay. I'm getting some liar regarding your money. We got the Six of Pentacles. Uh, some of you guys could be getting help regarding your career. You guys could be making a little bit of money. Um, I also see you completing something in record time. So you guys could be getting a little bit more efficient or a little bit more stable with what you do for work. Like you're figuring out how to get to the same goal just in half the time. Uh, I see, yeah, I literally see you completing something, finishing something within like six hours or, or less. Like you're doing something in, in record time. Some of y'all may have figured out a way to cheat the system. Okay. Uh, I feel like regarding your money and your career, Leo, some of y'all, um, some of y'all could be dealing with laziness. Okay. But some of you guys, uh, regarding your career and your money, you're about to be unrecognizable soon. I don't know if you're changing your appearance or what, or your money's about to get a transformation. Maybe you're getting a transformation in the second house of material possessions, all that. But um, you're about to be unrecognizable. Like people cannot, people are not going to be able to come up to you, like talking to you any kind of way. Like they got to put some respect on your name because I feel like what, what you're about to accomplish is going to make you unrecognizable. Some of y'all I'm picking up on fame a little bit. If, the, if the, For those of y'all, that message may be for who that's for, like who's wanting that. Um, what's the Six of Pentacles? I see you doing the work though, Leo. Like you're doing the work. You're doing what it takes to get to where you want to be. You're doing the work. Okay, uh, Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles for Leo? Their money, October 5th to the 7th. I, I see you getting more stable in your business and you're getting more ideas, more business ideas. I also feel like you're, you're, you're feeling more deserving of the patronage that you're receiving, of the gifts, the generosity that you're receiving. Um, I'm also getting something about an earthquake. Like there may be something really disruptive regarding your money, an earthquake. I don't want to predict an earthquake. It, it doesn't feel big. It feels like a little shake, you know, a little, a little thing. Six of Pentacles. But yeah, I see you getting new ideas. Yeah, this I'm getting like earthquake energy with this tower. Um, I see you getting new ideas though. I'm getting more inertia, more inertia to more inertia to, towards your goals. Um, you're doing what it takes to get there is what it feels like. Some of y'all may be causing an earthquake or y'all may be causing a shakeup in your career. Y'all may be causing an earthquake in your finances. Like you're shaking things up. Okay. Some of you guys could literally be moving your body, getting some new ideas, bring, you know, bringing some more energy towards, towards the workplace or towards your money. So some of y'all, I see you revitalizing something, reinvigorating it. Okay, so if this is not a new idea, if this is not like a completely brand new idea, you're just refreshing the old ones. Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Tower. Tell me more for Leo, their money, uh, October 5th to the 7th. Um, you guys are going to have more options regarding your money as well. Uh, there's no clear set path or defined way for you to get somewhere. Like you, you can pretty much take any path. It feels like all paths lead to success. So you don't really have to worry. Okay, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, the Tower. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. Feels like you don't speak to somebody anymore. Could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, or a Capricorn. Or you're not going to go somewhere anymore. What's this Ten of Swords here for Leo? Their money? Oh, okay, I see you leaving a Libra. You're leaving a Libra, or you could be leaving a legal situation behind. Um, I feel like you're done. Like, something here is done. You're, you're over it. It's done. Like, you and someone are not, don't speak no more, or you are not going to speak to this person anymore. Yeah. I feel like you are completely done. Uh, the fool, it feels like you're looking for something more stable, and maybe somebody here just wants to fool around or play jokes. It feels like something's not funny. Okay, I also feel like they're hiding something, or they're keeping something, like, hidden from you for safekeeping. This could be a family member as well. 
like maybe maybe this is what it is maybe you figured out someone's lying or you know that someone here is lying ten of swords the knight of swords yeah you don't you and someone are not going to speak anymore why is this happening here for leo their money october 5th to the 7th why is this happening here for leo why the lovers feels like someone here is fake I'm also getting something about you wouldn't want to get involved with this person anyways, because I'm kind of getting something here about contraband or fake bills or fake, fake something like they create like fake reviews or like something about them is fake and they're a fake person. Um, this is Gemini energy could be a Gemini, but someone here is fake and they're 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 like a finicky or um, fickle. OK, like their energy is not stable. OK, they like kind of frolic about they don't really care about much. They don't take anything serious which is okay to be jokey. Like you don't have to, you know, you could be a child at heart. You can be funny. You can be lighthearted, but this is like, you don't take nothing serious. Like that's, that's an issue. Tell me more about why this is the case for Leo and they're uh, cutting somebody off or not associating anymore. Why October 5th to the 7th? Why someone here is lazy as well. This is Libra energy. Someone here is lazy as well. I'm getting, I plead the fifth. I think I, who did I who did I think who did I hear that for? I think it was Gemini or or Cancer. But yeah, it feels like you can't get behind someone. Like it feels like a lazy person. Like I can't get behind you. You have no work ethic. You don't want to get nowhere in life. You have no ambition. Like I just can't hang out with you. I'm gonna start becoming lazy, and all of my stuff is gonna fall to the wayside. Like I can't. Like you can't risk something here. Like you know, as being associated or see, being seen. Like it feels like you can't risk it with this person. We got Gemini Libra energy. Okay, it could be a Gemini Libra or Aquarius though. Um, but yeah, I see you leaving someone or something behind. And somehow this has to do with money. I'm not sure. Maybe that'll maybe maybe you have to leave somebody behind because they would impact your money. Um, okay. Let's move on to what do you need to know? We're gonna say that seven minutes. Um, regarding your career, you're gonna be dealing with a Virgo soon, Leo. Okay, I wanted to call you Aries as well. Some of y'all could have Aries in your chart. Uh, you guys are going to butt heads. You're not going to get along initially, but that's a part of the magic of this connection. Okay. Um, what does Leo need to know? October 5th to the 7th. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting, you're going to be dealing with a Virgo soon. This person could be in their fifties. Um, they're a bit darker, like darker hair, darker features, darker body. Okay. Uh, you're bouncing ideas off of somebody. It feels like an older woman, older Virgo woman, although it doesn't have to be the moon. I'm getting a I'm getting older. Damn, old, old. Because this is like 18. I'm getting like 80 or something like old. Or maybe they were born. 1980s is not old, though. I don't know. They were born something. I got that. This is like giving me old energy. Okay. The moon and the two of wands. What is this for Leo? What do they need to know? October 5th to the 7th. The moon. What, what is it about this Virgo that they need to know? The moon, two of wands. The king of wands. Um, You're going to be going through some cycle with somebody. So there's someone here who's going to be in your life for a period of time. Okay, you're going to be dealing with someone for a while. This feels like a cycle, like for a time, for a period of time. You're going to be dealing with this person. The moon, two of wands, the king of pentacles. They can help you out for the time being, yeah. I see you being really nurturing and really caring for somebody. So I don't know if you're taking care of somebody, but um, I don't know. This person's going to be important in your life for, for a cycle, like maybe like for a few months you know, and then, you know, they kind of just dissipate. This is, uh, this feels like it could be a family member, family member as well it is cancer. Um, I'm about to say cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be, this is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. These are counterpart energies. Someone here could be getting a new apartment soon as well. Signing a new lease, moving, moving out. Um, clarify this queen and king of pentacles for Leo. What does Leo need to know? October 5th to the 7th. You could be helping somebody with a home business. This could be a Scorpio. Uh, I don't know. You could be teaching somebody about business, marketing, sales, strategies, or someone here could be teaching you or you guys are teaching each other, like, you know, telling each other what, what you know or what the other needs to know, like bouncing ideas off of one another. Um, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords. I'm going to clarify that. And the Eight of Wands. I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing block her. So you're going to block somebody. You could be blocking an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag, or a Capricorn. Maybe to welcome in a more stable union or a more stable connection. You're getting blocked. You're going to be blocking somebody. Who is this that Leo's going to be blocking? October 5th to the 7th. 
Uh, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Could be an Aries. I'm also getting a uh, blocking spending because someone here is spending is out of control. So you may need to like block someone off or like cut them out of something because they're spending too much. Like their spending habits are ridiculous. Is what it feels like. So you may have to cut somebody off cold turkey. It's like someone here doesn't understand the value of money. They think it grows on trees. What's the Seven of Swords for Leo? Seven of Swords, Two of Pentacles. I'm not really getting anything like crazy off of that Seven of Swords. It's it's a notoriously negative card, although this can have positive interpretations, but um, I'm not getting anything negative off of this. It just feels like you're dealing with family. Maybe you're just devising a plan or something like that. But yeah, someone here is going to be in your life for some time. So I, I guess welcome them in. You know, they're going to be there for a while. So might as well just allow them in or help them get comfortable, I guess. Okay, let's figure out what you, what, what's hidden from you, Leo. Um, oh, someone here can get really possessive over you and your ideas. Like it feels like literally what's yours, someone else wants it to be theirs. Like they can get really possessive over like you accomplishing your goals or you getting to the top or you finalizing something, you finishing it. Like, I don't know if someone here is like living through you, like if someone's living vicariously through you. So anytime you accomplish something, they feel like they've done it because I can't understand like why somebody would, would be getting on you about your business. But um, someone here is like really on your back or they're putting pressure on you and they're very possessive. Someone here may want to control you. This could be a friend. But they also act like they're not possessive, but I feel like they are a very controlling person. Um, they're, it's giving hateful energy as well. Someone here could be a little bit hateful. Who did I hear the name Heather for? I heard Heather for somebody. Someone here, their name could be Heather. Or your name could be Heather. Someone's name is Heather. Um, okay, let's move on to what, what is hidden from you. We're going to say that's 12 minutes, 10 seconds. What is this that's hidden from Leo? October 5th to the 7th. Can you tell me what is this that's hidden from Leo? October 5th to the 7th. What is this that's hidden from Leo? Okay, we got this sun. Uh, someone's going to be telling you the truth. So this could have been a truth that was hidden. Someone's going to be like opening up or telling you the truth. The sun and the temperance card. Something about somebody's teeth. Maybe somebody here needs to go to the dentist or a doctor visit. Something about somebody's teeth or this could be like how much they earn. The, what is it like orthodontist or a dentist? What is this? What's hidden from Leo? October 5th to the 7th. Yeah, someone here could be a doctor. Uh, they're hiding from you how much they make or how much they're worth. Like how much how much money some kind of business brings in they're not telling you like the full number or the truth they actually bring in a lot this feels like a teeth thing like or orthodontist dentist something with the mouth feels like someone here is a doctor this is your energy leo and then we have um sag energy here i'm getting an earthquake for y'all like feeling an earthquake or something i don't really know where but an earthquake yeah, because this temperance, and then we saw the um, we saw the the tower. That could be like something external that you can't control, like weather conditions as well. Tell me more about this. For what is this that um, is hidden from Leo, October fifth to the seventh? Yeah, somebody here makes a lot more money than they're telling you, or than they're letting on. I don't know if someone here is not telling you like what kind of business they have or what, but. They're making a lot, they're a lot, they're a lot more comfortable than you, than you know, than you know, okay? <laughs> the sun, temperance, king of cups, this, this could be an Aries as well. Aries, Leo, Sag, or Libra, like they make a lot of money. I feel like you don't know the, the full extent to how much they bring in. Some business here is very, um, it's very lucrative. There, there may be like, they may be extremely wealthy or extremely successful. Could be a sag as well oh my god my eyes my eyelashes are in my eye okay let's pull an oracle message for y'all leo let me actually clarify who is this for leo who is this what's hidden strength could definitely could be another leo they like to drink this could be a sag um this person's lonely or they get lonely so i don't know if they i don't know if they don't have a partner or uh, maybe they maybe they're accomplished in terms of money but you know matters of the heart seem to elude this person um, for some of y'all, I want to say that you guys are going to be an author. 
if you're going to write a book or you're going to write something, a publication. Yeah, I don't know. This is someone here that's a dentist or they like to go to the dentist. Something about their teeth. They're lying about it. I don't know if there's like veneers or what or someone's lying about something here. It's like has to do with teeth and how much money something costs or how much they're actually worth, how much they actually make. Okay. Um, all right. Let's move on to an Oracle message for y'all. We're going to say that's 15 minutes, 30 seconds. Can I get an Oracle message here for Leo? October 5th to the 7th. Oracle message for Leo. I don't know, Leo. It feels like you know someone that you're dealing with is not honest. Like, you know that someone that you're dealing with is, like, betraying you. Like, you know, it's like you're fully aware that someone's a liar, but you're staying with them or you're still friends with them. Let me let me get more on that. Who is this that's a liar for Leo, October 5th to the 7th, that they are fully aware of? Who is this that's a liar? Uh, the Four of Swords. Like, you are aware that someone here is keeping secrets from you, but, like, you're, you're still there or you're staying. Who is this that's a liar? Three of Wands, the Six of Swords. This could be an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Leo. Why is Leo choosing to stay with this liar? Or why? Like, why is Leo still in this situation then? High Priestess and the Magician. Maybe you're trying to get more out of the situation or trying to get more information. Maybe you're trying to keep some kind of balance or remain remain civil. I feel like you're you're trying to remain calm or remain like um remain uh, civil or keep something balanced. Uh, there's something here about like, maybe you know that someone here is lying about their drinking, but like you can't stop them or you can't help them. Like maybe you're just trying to maintain some kind of balance or some kind of peace. Cause it feels like you're fully aware of something. Like the high priestess is like, intuitively you know, like you're not stupid, you're in the loop, but you're still like letting something go on or letting someone get away with something even though they've already been caught. I don't know. I don't know. I was feeling that energy somewhere. Okay, Oracle card. We have Goddess of the Moon. This is giving me Scorpio energy. Or you guys could have Scorpio in your chart. And we have Adjacent Possibilities. I'm going to clarify this. Intuition. Goddess of the Moon. This is intuition going within. This card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright, reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving the card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information. Wow. On all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. What did we just say? What did we just say? Okay. Um, sorry. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you've avoided a three-hour traffic jam. Or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment, or a spellbinding novel. Like I said, writers. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. You're always blessed with this ability to connect, but this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration this brings. Okay, some of y'all, um, some of y'all I'm getting a new car soon as well. Some of y'all need to open up more to your manifestations as well. Some of y'all I'm getting open up to the open up to the adjacent possibilities, the different ways that you could be um, manifesting something or getting something, okay? Um, some of y'all, I forgot who I got it for. It might have been Taurus or Aries, get them getting out of like a traffic jam or a traffic ticket. So some of y'all could be like avoiding a situation, avoiding a disaster. Literally could be a natural disaster, but um, yeah. Okay, but that's what I got. Okay, that's what I got for you, Leo. Um, sorry. That has been your reading. Um, I hope it helped you in some way. I hope it resonates. Uh, if it resonates, I hope it provides you with some clarity. Do keep me updated um, in the ensuing days, two days from now or a week from now, if any of this manifests, um, if you feel comfortable. And yeah, that's been your reading, and I'll see you in your next one. Bye, Leo.